Hello YouTube and welcome to Quebec, Canada for round number four of the MFN SRA Holiday and Cup Series. We are here, this shack is actually called Trois Rivieres. Um, the road course, this is, will be our first road course race of the season. Now this was supposed to be round number 17 of the season, but they moved it up to number six because the Bruna Seca sucks. And they moved bump drafting, a new uh, uh, track that, uh, that we used in the Holiday and Cup, uh, the Olympics, the FNSR Olympics, and they moved that down to race number 16 in Charlotte. So it was moved from 16 to 17. So, yeah. On the pole, number 36 of Mark Edwards. He has had a very bad season so far, but he had a good race in Bristol. He finished in the sixth position. So, uh, 36 you see in the light a little bit. And he starts next to the driver in his second start, and he has a tough test. Jeffrey Howell in the 41 here is a very road course here at Squad Rivieres. And on row 2, the 18 of Doug Shears, and the 83 of another rookie, Luke Martin, that's had a consistent start to the season. And here's the rest of the starting lineup here from Quebec. The first road course race. Yeah, that's the command by that very high pitched guy. And uh, here, as we get started on our pace last, so we have two drivers in this field that uh, this is their home track. Um, Andrew Schwartz in the 22 and Matt McMurray in the in the 47. Gonna... Schwartz starts back here, and McMurray is only four positions behind him. Five positions actually. Here we go. Let's get back up to the front. Face car's off. Now this isn't the front stretch, it's around this corner right here. This is much like Montreal right here. They go through one and around the other uh, for the final corners there. Alright, Mark Edwards. Uh, he, this actually puts him in the all-star race because he's won two poles this season. Remember, he won the pole at Papyrus before he got wrecked. And here we go, green flag is in the air at Trois Rivieres. There they go through the first few corners, and Jeffrey Howell has the advantage over Edwards. And into another left hander that gives Howell the, uh, the advantage again, and Edwards tail, uh, fishtails the car, and Howell is into the lead. See if everyone's good here through the first couple of corners. Oh, Alex Filter's got a problem. He's on pit road. I think John Dillon has been slowed up a lot. Of, that was probably because of Filter. And look at all these guys get, that were slowed up. Dillon's got damage. The four car, John Dillon, he's got a little bit, bit of damage on that car. Let's see if Spectator gives us a good view. Yeah, a good view of this corner right here. And Jeffrey Howe enters the final couple of corners, right here. And this will be his first lap led in his HICS career. As he comes through, and yes, Jeffrey Howe has the lap. And Columbia, he might have hit the tire barriers. You see, you see the left side damage. Oh, trouble! Connor Breton in the wall with Brian LaFleur Jr. fifth in the standings, and the caution's out. I wonder why. They must have. Oh, and they're all running into each other up here. And that'll put more damage on LaFlair's car. Look at the damage on the 66. Wow. So, cautions out for the first time. Let's see what happened. Well, here we go. I'm not really sure what happened. Oh, LaFlair might have. Oh, he didn't. Uh, yeah, he went in under Breton. 
Oh, he just slid up right into the 24 car, and they both go in the wall. Fifth and sixth in the points right there. The 66 and the 24 car. Tough break for them as they're caught in a first lap crash here at Trois Rivieres, and we might have some pit stops here. All right, I said there might be pit stops. Jeffrey Howe is in. Let's see if anyone else comes in. There's Brandon Tedisco out of fourth place. Stephen Dillon, road course guy right there. Courier, Ellers, Ellis, Poteet in the 60 car in his first race of the season. It's Patrick Papias, Johnson, DJ, Burton, Schwartz, Dunham, Cole, McMurray, Acosta, Kaplan, Summers, Buchanan, Columbia, Henley, and Brandon Bain all on pit road with John Worry as well, LaFleur, and Connor Breton. And let's see who wins the race. And Stephen Ellis, he must have had a different strategy than Jeffrey Howe because Howe was the fourth car off pit road. And let's go back. This record button is broken. It took about 10 seconds, or maybe 15 seconds, for it to finally start recording. But uh, we're here on the restart, and Richard Johnson's on pit road. We saw him come on the pit stop, and he's still there. Well, here we go. These are the cars that didn't pit at the front of the field. Dougie Shears in second behind Edwards, and then Luke Martin in third, Corey Williams and Diego Espina. Top five, and Jack Richards is around in the back. Oh, Jeffrey Howe just missed that. That's why you don't want to pit on, under caution before restart. That that could have been really bad. And Jack Richards definitely has some damage on that car. He went head on into the wall. He's still going. Adam Smith was the other car in that. Here we go. Ooh, Jeff Ellers just missed that wall. Here comes Stephen Dillon. Uh... Road course racer right there. Let's find the other one, Sean Galligan. And he was at the back at the beginning. I'm still not sure why, but he's in the 31st position right now. It was probably because of that situation with Alex Filter at the beginning. And then there's these guys at the back. I think something might have happened. Yeah, Seth Cole, I think that's some damage that was not there. Jesse Kaplan's back here, and caution's out! Jeffrey Howe's on pit road! Oh, Jeffrey Howe! Oh, no! Howe is on pit road! Let's see. Oh, you can see everything back here. There's Fitzpatrick. I think I just saw some rear end damage. Yep, right there. M Matt McMurray, one of our hometown guys, has damage on the front end. Oh. But Jeffrey Howe, he was leading the race earlier. Let's see. Let's see what happened to Jeffrey Howe. Here he is. He's off this corner, okay. I didn't see any of these cars in front of him involved. That's that's Richard Johnson back on the racetrack right there. That's Jack Richards. He got turned again back there. And I, and I think the same corner as well. Oh, he just got really loose right there and right into the tires. Oh, and you see the smoke out of the 41. That'll definitely end his day. Ooh, to Disco and Stephen Dillon. Oh, and back here, Joshua Courier, and that's where this all started. There's Adam Smith, turned backwards and perpendicular, and there's their Andrew Schwartz. Right there, getting damaged. Looks like Aaron Williams might have made it through this, the points leader. Ryan Acosta's on pit road, I'm not sure why. But yeah, it looks like just a bunch of cars got damaged in separate incidents. Oh, McMurray here. The, the 47's going to run right in the back, I think, of Buchanan. Oh, no, he already had the damage. Let's see where Matt McMurray in the 47 got damaged. Oh, he, ha or he already has it way back here. And he still has it. No, oh, yeah. Uh, I wonder what happened to this car. One of the hometown heroes, along with Andrew Schwartz, here at Trois Rivieres. I think he got it on pit road. 
because he still has it. Okay, whatever. Uh, and here, here they are on pit road. A lot of cards. And the leaders are in. Matt, uh, Mark Edwards is in. I think Richard Johnson, who is the lap down, is the only car staying out. I, I think the 15 is a lap down. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, he was behind. I don't know if we went a lap down. Jeffrey House out of the race, along with Alex Filter, who had problems at the beginning. Tedisco leads the race off pit road. He came in last time as well. And there's Ellers. Mark Edwards just hit the wall right there. Uh-oh. That could be problems for that 36 car of Mark Edwards. We'll see if that gave him damage. He looks okay. But uh, the leader will either be the 15 or the 56. We'll see. Green flag. Well, Richard Johnson is the last car on the lead lap. He's not leading the race. Tedisco is leading the race. So it'll be a... I don't know what how Richard Johnson's gonna affect uh gonna affect things here. Let's see. Here we go, green flag. Here they come off the first corners. This problem's been a pro uh, this corner I believe has been a, I don't know if it was this corner. It's been a problem for some people today. See this mid pack and Tedisco's in the wall! Tedisco gets hit by Matt McMurray! Tedisco is leading the race and Tedisco is crashed! Oh no! So, more. Another leader has been crashed and that'll definitely end his day. That's the worst damaged car I've seen today. Oh, what happened to the leader? I have a theory that this 15 had something to do with it. I think Tedisco is just. No, here he's okay. I don't... I think it was just the same thing as what happened to Jeffrey Howe. Yep, yeah, he wheel hopped the corner. And he lost it. And that's a hard hit right there. And then... Matt McMurray does... Ha ha happens to him too. Johnny Gardner made some contact as well. So, Wow. The 56 is done, and he was just leading the race. And CJ makes a little contact. It's not going to do anything. All right, let's see if there's pit stops this time. Only two cars came into the pits that time, or three cars, That was and that was Richard Johnson, uh, Connor Breton, and Adam Smith that came on pit road. Edwards, Ellers, Fitzpatrick, Acosta, and Shears. That's the top five. Ryan Acosta having a good run today, and Edwards, that was a really good strategy by him. Unfortunately, the 56 got crashed. That wasn't the plan, but <laughs> Edwards is back in front, and we are back racing, and Edwards gets a really bad start. Here they come through turns one and two. Whoa, contact there. Corey Williams in the nine car with Dougie Shears. Now we'll see if anyone gets loose this time in, in this corner. Costa got loose, but he saved it, and look at all those cars just missing that tire barrier. And it appears everyone's okay. Oh, Richard Johnson gets turned, saves it. Corey Williams, every time he comes through a corner, it appears he's going to get wrecked. And there's a car wrecked back there. I saw one car really loose. That's Steven Dillon, and he has damage. In that 20 car on one of the road course guys in trouble here. I don't know if anyone else got damaged. Doesn't look like it. All right, so we're going to make it through a lap. They should all get a medal for that, especially Corey Williams. He was all over the place in that nine car. And top five stays the same. Mark Edwards really looking good out front here. Is Diego Spina in the top 10 having a good, great run today for, for the six car? Because he struggled early on. John Worry in the top 10 along with Evan Earnhardt. Remember, he was the only car that ended up out of the race at Bristol. Chris Summers has some momentum. Three top, uh, two top 10s in his last three races. 
Oh, oh, there's Luke Martin and Ospina in the wall. Oh my, and as soon after, as I said, Ospina was having a great run. He went into the wall. Wow. Sorry about that, Diego. He's, it still looks like he's going to be okay, though. Oh, cars on pit road, green flag pit stops for Mark Edwards and Bubba Fitzpatrick. And probably some more drivers, I'd imagine. Brandon Bain way off there. LaFlair's in. Connor Breton's gone into trouble. Oh, yeah. Some of these guys might have been wrecked. Well, Jeff Ellers stays out. Ryan Acosta stays out. And next time by, we have three laps to go. Williams loose. That car might need a, an adjustment. That car has been really loose this whole run. We've seen him sideways off of just about every corner. And here's Ospina with those cars pitting. He's going to pick up a few more spots. And there's Dylan Poteet. I'm not going to say anything about Poteet, though, because I jinxed him a few times last season. And I almost, I almost did it. Oh, Ellers! Ellers is out of fuel! Ellers is slow and he was just leading. And that is, and that, that 43 is out of fuel. Can he make it to pit road? If not, we might get a caution. And it looks like he's going to make it. We'll see. Yes, Ellers is into pit road, but what a tough break. That's not what you wanted to happen. That is probably why Mark Edwards came into the pits. And there is Mark Edwards with Fitzpatrick. And Ryan Acosta didn't come in. Neither did Corey Williams. These guys might want to save a little fuel on this lap. Because you saw what happened to Jeff Ellers already. And Acosta knows very well. He was running right behind him. Costa rookie in the series. Let's see if anyone did come in. I, I don't think so. I think only Jeff. Oh, Dougie Shears. Dougie Shears was on pit road with Edwards, and I and he's still on there. So probably a problem for Dougie Shears. I can tell these guys are taking it a little bit easier, and they're not pitting. Coming to two laps to go. 17-lap race here today. They're really stretching it here. They really got to save fuel. Let's see where Mark Edwards ended up. Or, or has ended up. He's in the 29th position. I think someone came in on the stop. Um, let's try to find the car because... I know one car that... Oh, there's Ellers. He's back on the track. Tough break for Jeff Ellers. Although he he is going to end up in front of Mark Edwards. That's strange. Considering that the 43 was out of fuel. Oh no, he's in 37th. He might have gone a lap down, actually. Now that I think about it. Oh yeah, he's a lap down. Oh, what a tough break for Jeff Ellers. That's not what he was planning on. Let's see what's happening further up. And uh, no, no one pitted. And now we're coming to the white flag, so this race is official. We've seen some crazy things happen. Car's running out of fuel. Let's see if Acosta can hold on and get his first career win. Corey Williams and Evan Earnhardt in second and third. John Worry, Diego Espina, Summers, Martin, Hernandez, Poteet, and Pacioli, the top ten. Sean Henley, that's a finish that he needs. He's running 11th. Let's see if Acosta can make it through. I think he's okay. We'll see. This is about right here is where Ellers ran out of fuel, or maybe in the next corner. Yeah, about right here is where Ellers, we saw, we caught him running out of fuel, but Acosta's gonna make it. Coming through the final corners here at Trois Rivieres. And the first race we've We've had here in the Holly and Cup Series. Here he comes, and it will be won by a rookie. Ryan Acosta comes down the front stretch, and he is going to win at Trois Rivieres. He's just going to get second. I think everyone's okay. So Ellers is back in pit road. Williams gets second. 
I don't see if anyone ran out of fuel. I think I think everyone's good. Wow. Boy, I'm telling you, who's really good. Oh, Mark Edwards. Where is he going to finish? He's going to finish 29th, I think. And Fitzpatrick. They were running first and third, but they decided to make a pit stop to keep from running out of fuel. And Edwards, 29th. Wow. And Jeff Eller's even worse. Oh, he's crashed. Something happened to the 43. Let's see. I thought he might have ended up stopped on the track for some reason, but he's crashed. And it's the same thing as that happened to Jeffrey Howe and Brandon Tedisco. And Ellers slams into that tire barrier. Hard hit for Ellers. He will end up in the 37, maybe 38th. Tough break for Ellers. And let's see the full results here from Twa Review. This is the second time a rookie's won the season. Richard Johnson ended up winning at uh, Las Vegas. And now Ryan Acosta takes takes the win here from Trois Rivieres in the 80 car. He's, hasn't had a great start, so this will certainly help that 80 team. Corey Williams, he's really struggled to start the season. And he'll end up second. Evan Earnhardt, third. Good top five. Good rebound for him uh, after his struggles on the road course. His last season, of course, the last place finish at Bristol. John Worry finishes fourth. Good finish for him, and Ospina gets his first top five of the season. Good run for Diego Ospina. Another top ten for Summers. He's uh, he's getting a little better at this, although I believe that's number 71 now on the winless streak. Um, Luke Martin finishes seventh. Angel Hernandez gets, a, I believe, his first top ten as well. Dylan Pote, uh, in his first race this season, gets ninth in the season three champion. He'll finish tenth. And you see Trent Dunham. I don't know if that'll give him the points lead. Aaron will. Uh, the gap I think was 12 points, so it's gonna Dunham's gonna gain seven points on Aaron Williams, uh, and I don't think the points lead is gonna change there. But yeah, so Ryan Acosta, that's another driver that puts himself in the All Star race. We had two today. Like I said before, the other one was Mark Edwards by getting his second pole of the season, and then. Out of the race here, Dougie Shears, who had some sort of problem. He was running in third before he pitted, and I guess that's why he pitted. I don't know why Edwards pitted then. Uh, Tedisco, or sorry, Arnold Columbia, he got crashed. Tedisco crashed. Howe crashed. Really unfortunate for Jeffrey Howe. He was leading the early laps. He had a very fast race car. Then he came in and pitted when the rest of the leaders didn't. And you see... Uh, Although he was the uh, he wheel hopped the corner, really unfortunate for Jeffrey Howe, and Alex Filter he didn't even complete a lap in that 51 car. He, he that's the third time there's been a mechanical problem. That's the third DNF he's had, and they've all been caused by mechanical problems. So that 51 team might want to go and uh, check on their work before the races. So yeah, thanks for watching, and the next race will be at Pocono. First time we've been there since season one, uh, and. Uh, the new repaved track. So, yeah, we'll see you there. And here's the standings.